Yo, what up? It's a tip of the week, and today we're gonna discuss no one to shut up. If you love this tip and want to go deeper, check out this course. I can describe this course in one simple phrase surgical coaching in your office. Contrary Surgical Coaching is a PACE accredited with the Academy of General Dentistry. This course offers an innovative approach to surgical and implant dentistry that can help you achieve your goals. Contrary Surgical Coaching gives you affordable prices, hands-on training, how to handle complications, step-by-step -step methods for best results, and how to discuss patient finances and your return on investment. Gain the skills you can use now on your patients for tomorrow that could achieve your production clinical goals while never booking a flight for education again. Start earning C today. Enroll at jaredwdds.com. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you know, I'm a concierge dental surgeon and I go around different offices and I'm able to work with many different doctors. Some who are great and some are not as great i'll put it i'll leave it at that and so when i'm going to office to office i'm able to have a clear picture on some things that aren't the greatest and then some things that are just man that's amazing and i'm going to implement it and so when i'm going to different offices i thought i knew no i know for a fact you need to hear this tip all right let's get into it know when to shut up like, no one to shut up. I know you have multiple years of degrees and success and accolades and Instagram and posts and face, social media, Facebook, all that stuff. That's great. But your patients really don't care. What they really care is how are you going to make them feel throughout their procedure. And if you want to show them all the different things that you're doing to make them see you as a deity, forget about it. At least the ones that at least have a brain. Because patients can see your BS from a mile away. And so they really don't care how much you know unless they, unless they know how much you care. And so I really want you to know, like, no one to shut up. Like, ask questions, you know, be, and empathize with them. Most patients are coming in and they're thinking they're gonna get a freaking needle about this long jammed into their skull. And so they really wanna know, is the doctor that I'm gonna be working with, are they gonna care? Like they don't expect us to be perfect, but what they do expect us to do is care. Because at the end of the day, we signed an oath, we made an oath and that is to do no harm. And doing harm is not caring or empathizing with your patient when you can do everything the best of your ability and you just don't have a clue. So no one to shut up. Number two is this, give pros, cons, and alternatives, then shut up. Like that's all you have to do. Even if your patient doesn't want to hear it, if they don't want the treatment, make sure you give them all the pros and cons and alternatives because you don't want the patient to say, oh, doctor such and such, gave me this information, they didn't give me all the options, the pros, the cons, and alternatives. And so if you give them just the pros and the cons, but there's no alternatives, there's an issue. So know when to shut up. Tip number three is this. Don't be biased. I don't care how much and how fancy your office is, how many procedures you've done, how many posts you have on social media, whatever, don't be biased. Don't look at a patient and have them come into your office and size them up. Oftentimes, we have no clue. A patient could come in with the fanciest clothes and be as dumb as a doorknob and poorer than a $5 nickel. Or you could have a patient that comes in, terrible clothing, can't smell, but they can pay cash and they're more knowledgeable than you and your forefathers. And so what I really want you to do is don't be biased. Give and treat them with the utmost amount of respect. You have to remember that your patients 
are your most viable asset, their most important aspect. As a matter of fact, patients are the lifeblood of not just your practice, but our practice. And the moment you become biased is the moment you screw yourself. So know when to shut up. All right, guys, I know you're like, man, you really put a hammer on us this week. Well, I really wanted you to know that in order for you to smile after surgery, you got to know when to shut up. And the moment you do that, only amazing things are going to happen to you. All right. So I think I've beaten you up a little bit, a good amount this week. And so once again, guys, I'm Dr. Jared Williams. And my focus is for you to not shut up, but my focus is for you to smile after surgery. So what I want you to do, I know you're probably going to get some comments about, man, you really said a lot of shut up and beat me up. What I want you to do is let me know what comment was most beneficial to you and let me know which one you implemented and how it changed your way in which you see and practice dentistry. All right, guys, I think I've taken enough time. Let me get out of here. You guys have a fantastic day. Make it a great one.